Hey guys, so this will be a talking video. Uh, <clears throat> so, I wanted to make a comment on this because I've been looking up Bobby's perspective lately to see what he's been up to, seeing if he'll ever go back to any kind of anti-vegan content, because that's what I was subscribed to before. Now, he's all, he's on this whole, like, religious uh, tirade of sorts. Um, now, believe what you want, but I don't want to start pushing religion on the channel. I push truth based on biology, right? So, um, it's different. Uh, I'm not saying do what I do, exactly what I do. But I am saying, like, for example, the meat diet focused, very heavily focused on meat is what we should be doing, right? And Bobby's perspective was pretty much like that. In the beginning, that's, I loved his channel. It was very vegan oriented. And I understood that, you know, okay, he, he's going to take a break, but he's going to come back. And, and for the first little while, he did come back. He did come back from it or come back to vegan content. And I stayed subscribed for a while. But then I started unsubscribing because of then it then it became stuff about Muslims and Christians and, uh, and Jews and, and, and stuff. And I have nothing against people being that. It's the idea that we have to be pushing religion, ideologies that are just, you know, we don't have to have the one religion. We don't have to have the one like, like, we don't even have to have the same carnivore diet. You know, one person that eats a lion diet, someone else within that same family even, might only need to eat meat-based keto, right? Like, they can still eat, like, a small amount of plants. But I don't believe in plants uh, mostly. I don't think any human should be eating that. That one I will say. Mostly plants is dangerous, okay? We can all agree with that. That's not a religion. It's a religion, for example, carnivore diet can become like a religion where you're like, Ugh. by the way, I have something on the, the burner, my cooktop. As you can hear, this is my cooktop. That's how I cook my food. I don't use a burner stovetop. <clears throat> Because it's safer with this one little cooktop. It has the small burner, and I can easily just set it on there. And once it's on there, it's on there. It tells you. It tells you. But anyway, so he's talking about religion now full force. And he's wondering why he's getting attacked. He's wondering why his PayPal got blocked. And he's wondering why things are going south for him. <clears throat> Now, even his channel trailer is all about um, something with Allah and... Look, no one wants to listen to that every day, all the time. And if you do, you have a problem. If that's all you want to talk about day in and day out, you have a problem. Look, I don't even talk about... I, I come back to the carnivore thing, but I don't want to just talk about carnivore stuff all the time. Carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. This is the carnivore thing. That's the carnivore, you know, reactions. That's why I'm commentary and other, right? But I want to put make comments on these, these, this, this whole thing with Bobby's perspective because people are getting annoyed. When you start really preaching, 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 no one wants that in any direction. And who's really true to the saying, practice what you preach? I practice what I preach, a mostly meat diet. Do I say we all have to be 100% carnivore? No. Do I say you can only eat these meats, these things? No. But I do think, for example, women in particular need to eat liver. Now, you have to be careful with cooking liver. You want to cook it on medium, probably, or even maybe low. Go, start with high, then once it gets hot enough, 
go to low because you don't go to medium or maybe even low because you don't want to overcook. It'll become grainy. And that's usually why people get like, I can't do liver. I can't. Nope. Can't do it. Oh my goodness. The cooktop is at a steady temperature. That thing's at 300. You can cook that liver in five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Five. Five. And dude, it's, it's neither raw nor overcooked. It's like perfect. It's like, it's like, it, you just chew it and it's like a, it's like a, it's kind of like a stronger tasting roast beef. Okay. That's basically what it's like to me. It's, what it tastes like. Very minerally, but it's a good minerally. It's like a nice blend of things with the butter in there too, like the salts. Oh, oh, mm. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but I think women should be eating liver. Do I tell you, you must eat liver? Maybe I might have said that, but I, I don't mean that. Like you must or you will blah, blah, blah. No, I think you should, though. I really do. Um, eggs. I've, I've started eating eggs again. And I don't know. I'm not noticing much of a difference. But And then and recently, I'm starting to go outside more. Sitting outside in the sun. Getting some sunlight. Enjoying it. Um, we, I didn't go outside today because I heard it was supposed to be rainy all day. Turns out it didn't rain at all but I didn't feel any sun coming in through my window. And there's usually a point in the early morning I can feel it. But I'm going like, okay, my point though is, is I'm not being religious about my approach other than I think we should all be eating meat based, meat centered, like 99, like 95 to 99% meat. I don't think even, I really think carbs, especially what, uh, you know, what, um, Brian Sanders or Ryan Sanders or whatever. I think it's Brian. Brian Sanders, especially what he's doing now. I had to unfollow his podcast. He's promoting carbs now. He is promoting carbs. Oh, I'm eating sweet potatoes again. I don't see a problem with it. Really? Really? Have you tried going full carnivore? Maybe you weren't feeling anything because you weren't. Have you tried it? Have you even tried full carnivore? I tell people to try it because they don't know what they're doing yet. They don't know what they're missing out on. I get mad at these people because they don't try. They just, oh, I did carnivore for three days and I had the diarrhea, so I had to stop. You're going to have it a little bit. I'm sorry. It's, it's not pleasant. I had it. Anytime I would go keto and then go back to carnivore, Every time for like two days. Oof. It was awful. Awful, awful, awful. I'd, I remember I would go carnivore, then back to keto for a little while. Then, car- oh, dude, there was one time I could only eat meat for several days, and dude, I spent two days off and on running to the bathroom. But it was not fun. But I got through it. And you will too. You will. But you have to try it first. You can't start bashing something without trying it first. I tried keto. I've done keto. That's why I don't eat keto foods every day because I don't want to have that diarrhea if I go carnivore fully. Right? Like, and I don't. I can go several days without carbs. Fully without carbs. Fully 100% without carbs. And I have no diarrhea now. But you know why? It's because I don't eat fiber and I don't eat that many carbs, right? I really don't. It's only like 25 grams or so. And it's no fiber, none. And I keep the food and like the fruit and the veggies to a minimum. I'll have like a week where I'll eat them and then I'll stop. Because I know myself. But you have to try carnivore before you jump to conclusions. Oh, carbs aren't the problem at all. Tell that to a carnivore. Okay. But anyway, what I was saying about Bobby's perspective is he's now pushing religion ideologies. Okay. Believe what you want, but when you start pushing it onto other people, like I said about Joey Schwartz and the raw meat kerfuffle, right? When he was talking about raw meat, raw meat, the only way, raw meat. You have to... Bobby, it's like, 
you have to be Christian. You have to be Muslim. You have to be this, 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 this. You have to have, you have to believe in God. You have to do this with God. Blah blah blah. Pray to God. Do the God. Blah blah. Praise God. Praise God. Blah. And people wonder, and he wonders why his PayPal, his PayPal, locked him out. His PayPal locked him out. I am not surprised in the slightest, because he is pushing something that is dangerous to human health. I think he's he's very hurtful with his approach to. I've watched his religious, like, you have to believe in this, you have to do this, and you have to do that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that kind of spirituality. I have, I'm kind of more pagan, you could say, in my beliefs. Like, I believe more in black magic, having bad, like, I'm not saying I partake in black magic, but I believe the, the powers of black magic. I believe the powers of, like, I might sound stupid, but yeah, I believe in black magic, superstitions, um, things like that, because it, from experiences, right? Like if somebody has snow, snow decorations out in the summer, <laughs> we're going to have a horrible, horrible summer. Right now, I'm going to tell you that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better believe it. You better believe it. My, the summer's going to be bad. If you, have, if you have summer decorations out in the winter... It's going to just make the winter like, oh, like, what was the point? Why? I don't know. I don't know. But take your decorations down once the, like, take your Christmas lights down once Christmas is over. I mean, you can wait a few days. Wait till, like, January if you, if you need to. Take them down. Take your snowmen down. Take all that stuff down. Regardless of what you believe, take it down. It's it's ridiculous. People are gonna stare at you like, what the heck is that doing in the window? Why is there a snowman in the window when it's summer out? <laughs> take it down. You look silly with it up too. It, a Santa in the window? I, I don't know. I I don't think I've seen the Santas, but somebody had their Christmas lights out and it was like spring or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Why? Why? Just. Regardless of beliefs, take it down. What these people like? I think it's so stupid though that like we have to believe in a like these people think you have to believe in a religion. Like, <clears throat> um, I believe in spiritual things, but I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna tell you to like believe in a religion because I know that I'm not religious. I was born into a Christian family, but I just. I don't mesh well, and after what my cousin did to me, I could get into that if you want me to. I'm very free and open to talk about it. Um, yeah, I don't want to go there. I don't, well, go there in terms of revisit that trauma by being told, like, you have to believe in your Christian ideologies, otherwise, <laughs> you're dead, you're going to hell. Like, well, you're going to go to hell because you're pushing people to believe something when you're not, when they're not ready. I'm pretty sure there's something in the Bible about that, isn't there? Like, you're not supposed to, people should come to God when they're ready or something like that. Isn't there something about that in the Bible? Can't, can't you go, can't that, look, if you were hardcore enough in your religion, you'd know that. You'd know that. I just, ugh, ugh, stop. Stop. Just, Bobby, I'm, I feel bad for you, but at the same time, I don't. Because you, you had your channel really going for you went back when you were doing anti-vegan content. And now, now that you decided to flip the tables and go into this whole thing with all your religious beliefs and stuff, I can see why this is happening to you. Because... People are not there. We live in an, a, an age now where I know it's, it can be hard for you to, to process, but we don't live in that age anymore where you can just, you know, and we're, we're, we're free now to believe what we want. A lot of us. I'm just going to shut this off because it's like really. We believe now in what we want to believe in. So we're allowed to do that. In a lot of countries now, we are allowed to do that. There are countries where, no, you can't. You have to respect the religion. 
like, to the point of you can't eat in public during Ramadan, for example, right? There's company, there's countries like that now. There are, there are countries that are like that. You eat in public in Ramadan, I don't know what happens to you, but, uh, you're not supposed to. You, you get, maybe you get arrested or something, I don't know. I, but I've heard of countries where you can't eat during Ramadan in public. You have to eat in private, in the privacy of your own home. If you're in like, especially if you're not fasting, you, when you're, like, once the fasting is over, then you can eat. There's, there's places that will open and you can eat then. But you can't eat during uh, Ramadan during the fasting port point. If you're not fasting, then you have to eat in private. So, yeah. Um, but I can respect these rules, okay? I can, I can, you know, but I'm not going to listen to somebody who's preachy and telling you to believe, like, this is why I tell you to believe in this and believe in that and blah, blah, blah. Listen to the words of God or whatever the heck, however the heck it's said, and I'm probably going to have a lot of people coming for me. And you know what? Fine. Do it. Do it. I don't care. Because I've been there and I've done that. I don't care. Come for me. I've heard it all. Okay? I have heard it all before. I'm a middle ground type of person. I'm not religious. In... In, especially to a point where somebody's, oh no, but you have to believe in this this superstition. But I do express fear sometimes. Like when somebody says, oh, I still got my snowman sitting here on my table. No, 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 no. You're going to have horrible weather now. Oh my gosh. You're going to have horrible weather. By the time the summer comes, you're, you're not, you're not even going to hear the end of it. The sun is not going to love you. You... <laughs> Maybe not quite to that extreme, but I just, no, just get that thing out of here. Get that thing out of there. Put it back. Put it in your closet. Do something. Get it off your table, people. Just, no, no, just don't, don't. I've seen enough already with the, 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 uh, I've seen it so many times over. The winters, they have their decorations out and then they don't take them out even after summer hits and then it's like, why do we have a bad summer? <laughs> I'm not saying you have to believe it either, but I'm, I have this huge fear. It's like, it's, it's a, it's kind of built into me because I've seen it so many times. My grandmother would always leave stuff out in the summer. I'm like, oh crap. And then sure enough, summer hits, rain, 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 burning, 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 burning hot. Rain, 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 rain. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Hail, hail, hail. Rain, rain, rain. I've seen it. I've seen it. Cold, cold, cold. Windy, windy, windy. Freezing. Like north winds. 18 degrees Celsius. But north winds. No, don't even go there. Oh, you may as well be in the Arctic. You may as well be in the Arctic. Ugh. Miserable. Miserable. That's the worst. But I'm talking nonsense. I, I don't know. I'm just weird that way. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, like I said, you don't have to believe it. I'm not saying you must believe the spirits of the whatever, right? Like, and it's, I'm fascinated by mythology and folklore. I'm fascinated by it all. Like, I look at all different religions. I looked at Buddhism for a time. I'm like, ooh, the philosophies seem interesting. There's no real God. It just, like, has certain principles that I already kind of aspire to view and believe in. And I didn't look into the ve- vegetarian and uh, vegan ideologies of it. But I'm like, I was like, I'm not changing my diet to uh, for the Buddhism. But I'm, I'm going to look more into this. I looked into Hawaiian mythology. I looked into Greek, mytho- Greek mythology. Ooh, wow. Um, I believe in Greek mythology. I believe in it all. You know, I'm very open, right? If you want to believe in the one true God, you can believe it. I, I'm not going to push you. I'm not going to tell you, hey, you have to believe what I believe. But I do, I will express fear at times because that's how I saw everything over and over again. It would always be, oh no, it's, you left your snowman out and it's the, it's June. Like, Put it away. 
Put it away. You 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 you're bringing in the bad spirits, and the the, the summer's gonna be horrible. Put it back. No, just put it back, please, please. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm, I get scared. But at the end of the day, right? I can only express my fears, right? It's just this weird superstition. I'm very superstitious. Now, interestingly enough, I'm not actually afraid of the number 13. I'm not afraid of opening an umbrella inside, except for the obvious. Open it and you hit the little magnet on the fridge. Bloop. Oops. Magnet fell. Breaking a mirror is seven years bad luck? <laughs> that one is just... Okay, for the record, I did have the guy, when the guys were here doing my cabinets, it's not funny, but I bring it up, so I had to, so the guy's here doing my, my bathroom cabinet, bathroom counter as well, he's here, he's, he's working on the bathroom, then he's vacuuming around the, under the sink from all the extra dust, and the vibration from the vacuum is so much so that the mirror up on the top uh, from like above the sink and it's a big mirror this thing comes phew, crashing down and um it like barely misses them cracks them cracks in the in half like smashes and cracks in half they're like little sparkly bits all over the freaking floor and he's like Ugh. my i'm glad my mom came that night because she's like she was like sweeping and i i said uh the mirror broke off, and she's like, oh, that mirror. And she's like, because there's a mirror on my little cabinet by the sink, too. Like, to the side, a small mirror. This is this cabinet here. A little medicine cabinet, I think they call it. <clears throat> um, there's a mirror in that. She's like, oh, that, the mirror up above the sink. That's the mirror you meant. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, and... She's like, that's probably the sparkly bits I, sw- I sweeped off the floor. I-, I-, I don't believe in the mirror. Like, because he was at my apartment. Uh, he was at my apartment throughout the rest of that day, too. And um, then the following day, they were putting the, my drawers in and finishing up a lo- the last few touches of it, right? Nothing bad happened to him after that. So I don't believe this seven years bad luck thing. I don't believe in it. Well, he's got, he's still got seven years to go. It only just happened. Nah. 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 He's fine. He's fine. He is fine. (laughs) He'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. He already, look, he has no feeling in one of his arms, but that already happened to him. That was already a thing before the mirror incident. He said he lost it in an accident, but now that I just, ugh, that's awful. Like, I have, I don't, that's just, I can't imagine losing feeling in anything. I lost it temporarily in one of my feet from sleeping weird. But at the end of the day, what I'm, I'm going way off topic again, I love to ramble. So guys, stop pushing beliefs that are just beliefs. It's different when it's your your body. If you're messing with your body, <clears throat> that's a whole other story because you're promoting self-harm. Um, another word that I don't really want to say on here. I didn't get flagged the last time. Let's just say starvation. You're promoting... Um, and in the other end of the spectrum, too, you're provo- promoting overeating. You're promoting anything. You're just spouting your crap. Like, oh, I'm vegan so that I can eat everything. I'm vegan so that I can stay thin. I'm vegan so that I can eat all of my favorite stuff. I'm vegan because... And then it's like... Then it becomes, I'm vegan because I don't want to eat animals. You're a human being. You- you you have the system of a carnivore and you're shoving shoving fiber down there. Look at how the pandas turn out. Look at how the little cubs are born. You really think that the panda is doing well? They're not. It's partially because they they're still carnivores trying to live off a of bamboo. It'd be like us trying to live off berries for the rest of our lives. Think about that for a moment. Okay, guys. 
So that was what I had to say. Don't live off of beliefs. Live off your, you know, just don't live off just a belief that someone pushed onto you or that you think is, I try not to let my beliefs bring me down and, and control my every aspect. You know, I'm not living every day. Oh my gosh, is this person going to have a snowman outside their window? Is this person going to have this going on in the house? Is this person going to have a bad aura? You, they sound nice, but you know, I don't live in that constant fear like that. So I don't want you guys to live your life based on what somebody read to you in a book. I want you to go based on how best you feel doing your diet, for example, like carnivore. If you think you need to go more carnivore, go more carnivore. Don't listen to anybody else's beliefs. If, if somebody suddenly says, I have to eat fruit now, don't listen to them. Don't go their route just because, just because, don't let them discourage you from going carnivore, right? If somebody tells you, you gotta be Christian, Dude, just, nah, just, nah, no, just, mm, just, stop, just don't listen, don't, don't even, don't, do it. okay, well, I'll see you guys later, uh, I rambled a lot, I, yeah, I wasn't angry for once, um, so, yeah, see you guys in the next one.